Daniel, you're going to have to run through this story and has to deal with Hillary Clinton uh, basically saying that wealth taxes are unworkable. Because yeah. let's face it, she is the aggressive progressive who can get things done. Daniel, take it away. She's being practical, and we should Pragmatic. all listen as she gets Baby. sued by Tulsi Gabbard. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. Look at their other video. Uh, Hillary Clinton called the wealth taxes proposed by Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren unworkable and said that they would be incredibly disruptive if enforced. I love that she uses the word incredibly disruptive, where I'm sure Bernie Sanders would be like, yeah, that's the point. I can't do a good Bernie Sanders <laughs> voice. Anyway, Clinton argued that it would be uh, difficult uh, to fairly evaluate Americans' net worth and would force many people to sell their assets to pay taxes. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, since the super rich often hold their value in assets like stocks. Oh no, they'd have to sell their stocks to pay their taxes. What a horrible time. Anyway, but, uh, this is a quote from Taylor Clinton, uh, but assume you can get some system of evaluation. People would literally have to sell off assets to pay their taxes on assets that they've owned before the wealth tax was levied. Oh no, what'll they do if they have to sell 10 of their Fabergé eggs? Clinton said she's all in favor of reinstating the estate tax, which I agree with. Again, we're not going to uh, yell at Hillary. I mean, it is kind of... I'm going to still yell at her. I mean, yeah, we're going to yell I mean, at her. I yelled at her on Twitter. I'm, I'm for, again, raise the estate tax. <laughs> the thing is, I think that we would raise it higher than yeah. she would th right. She would think that we're being disruptive by us raising it. So there we go. Have at, have at that as it will. Over the past year, prominent voices on the left have pushed, uh, to, pushed uh, tax hikes on the wealthy and demanded that billionaires and corporations... Stay out of politics. Rep Alexandria Crossier Cortez of New York has made headlines by arguing that it's immoral for billionaires to exist in a society with widespread poverty. Again, Bezos could stop veteran homelessness with 1% of his money. I think actually all homelessness with 1% yeah. of his wealth, which is it's it's crazy. So Hillary Clinton, uh, voice of reason or not, guys, what do you think? Okay, here's what I have to say. I don't know who told Hillary Clinton to re-enter into any kind of political environment, but whoever they are, they must be be getting paid a lot of money or constantly living in fear of Hillary because they have to say things <laughs> she wants to hear. Um, this goes again shows you why Clinton lost in 2016. No, it wasn't because of the Russians. It's because she's completely unrelatable. And again, people like her and the rest of the members of the DNC establishment are turning a blind eye to the real issues. Look, you just can't favor Wall Street, big banks, and major corporations. That's just not how things are done anymore. And it's not the 1990s where you could just run such a milk toast campaign. Neoliberalism is a poison that's impacting a lot of Americans. And here you have Clinton once again sharing her public private positions on wealth tax and how the very fact that you have someone like Senator Bernie Sanders well, she's challenging been, the establishment. Hillary I mean, she, she, poor, she, yeah. she, she, she's, well, she's always been very public yeah. on this. Yeah. I mean, Hillary's um, a very poor well, public person. and private. She public would have a better private. idea of well, how the wealthy should well, spend their money. Well, on this issue, yeah. Yeah. well, okay, <laughs> I just want to say this. This is what I said on Twitter also. It's like, the fact that Hillary Clinton thinks that a wealth tax is disruptive, which would, that's something that would help millions of working class people mm -hmm. uh, get through the daily da uh, uh, their daily issues of financial ruin. Yeah. Um, she thinks that's disruptive, but not the regime changes she, her State Department conducted in Haiti and Honduras. That just, that, that, sh that just underscores the pathology of the ruling class right there. Yeah. Those that think that those that think like that, that think like wealth taxes and just distributing uh, the wealth to the people, the masses of people is disruptive, but not regime changes. That really highlights their sick pathology. Yeah. So, again, this is a problem that we have with this system. And, you know, Clinton represents everything that's wrong with neoliberalism. And she represents everything that's wrong with the current system, because now more than ever, I mean, this is this is what happens when you decide to, you know, support a centrist position and centrist policies. And can someone like Hillary Clinton or any other members of the DNC establishment actually work for the people? I don't think they know how. And here you have Clinton once again talking to the establishment, telling her points of view, and once again saying things that can't be done. Well, look what Bernie Sanders is accomplishing. What Bernie Sanders is doing is something that the DNC establishment can never do. And as far as I'm concerned, Clinton needs just to back out of this race altogether, stop you know speaking out because she's irrelevant at this point and she lost to Donald Trump. Well, they're, well, they're, they're trying to the, these these corporations are so in bed with the Clintons 
Um, well, everyone's in bed with the Clintons at this point. Well, man. yeah, especially the mainstream news, and yeah. uh, that's why they have her on still, like like on the View and you know mainstream other mainstream outlets. It's to whitewash these war criminals. Yeah, well, and, and and try to uh, keep the the um, ruling ideology going, which is failing because the millions of people, everyone feels it now. It's it's a lie, and people are realizing that the working class people are becoming more class conscious. 